Hello everyone. Welcome to this video by Directorate of Higher Education to explain about the admission process and NEP 2020, uh, the new structure that we are implementing from this year in higher education. And there are a lot of questions in the minds of parents and students, especially those who have just cleared that 12th standard. So today we have with us Dr. Mahadev Gavas. Welcome, you, sir. He is the in charge of admissions of higher education, and he'll be uh, enlightening us about uh, various changes in the structure and the admission process. Uh, so, sir, uh, the system, the education system, is going through a major change this year, and we are shifting from the older pattern to NEP 2020. So, what is the major change that will be that we will see in this structure? So in the earlier system, we used to, I mean, the students who are right now studying also, they are going through the choice-based credit system. But now the Director of Higher Education is implementing uh, NEP 2020 structure across the general program. So in this structure now, the students uh, will have a four-year uh, UG programs. Now with this uh, programs, uh, like the CBCS board, where the student used to earlier take a choice, like, for example, he's a BSc student or let's say, for example, he has done his 12th uh, arts or 12th commerce or 12th science. He is to take some combination of subjects uh, in the initial first two years. And then in the third year, he is to take a decision that he is going to go for his honors programs and then do the specific programs in the third year. Yeah. And the program is to be of only three years. With that three years a UG program, you used to get a honors degree. Correct. So now this degree under the NEP, you want to get it is of the four year after the four years okay if you want to go for a honors programs now in this system so student in the first year is given a more about the exploration about the disciplines all right now when i say the disciplines uh, the ugc under the nep they have classified the four, five different broad disciplines mm -hmm. the first uh, discipline is about the pure science where you have uh, uh, phys uh, physics botany zoology okay. uh, chemistry microbiology uh, and then electronics Okay. The second dis broad discipline is mathematics, computer science, software systems. That comes statistics. under one oh, category. One category, second category. The third you have is the library science, uh, jo uh, journalism, then mass communication. And the fourth category uh, broad discipline that you have is about the commerce and management, wherein mm. you have a banking, taxation, uh, costing, uh, accounting. And the fifth, last uh, broad discipline is about the arts and humanities, where you have history, geography, political science, sociology, psychology, Hindi, Marathi, Konkani, and English. Okay. Now, in the first semester, the student has to explore one particular discipline. Hmm. Now, while exploring this particular, uh, any one discipline, he will have to do one major and one minor in first semester. Okay. Similarly, he has to do one major and one minor in semester Okay. Now, while selecting this major and minor in semester one and two, has to be from the same broad discipline. All right. Say, for example, you are a art student. You have completed your twelfth arts, and you are taking, say, for example, first major as a in the first year as a uh, under the major category as a history paper. Okay. Then under the minor, you can take any relevant paper which you want to explore hmm. in the same broad discipline could be a geography or political science. Those combinations will be available with the colleges. They will be... Yes. Offering. So, this, these various combinations are available in the different colleges. Hmm. Uh, every college may not have the same combinations okay. offered to the students. Yeah. So, once you select this one combination, major, minor in semester one, hmm. you have to explore the different combinations within the same broad discipline for a second Next semester. Next semester. Okay. So, if you have taken first major in first semester as a first major in history and minor as a political science, yeah. then you have to explore the other papers other than the history and the political science. Okay. Say, for example, as a major in psychology and minor in sociology. Hmm. So, that's why it's called as exploration year, the exactly. first year. The student will get a flavor of all the different subjects that he can okay. possibly explore within the same broad discipline. Okay. And he cannot just switch between the broad disciplines in the first year. Okay. So, and other than major and minor, what are the other subjects that the student will learn in the first year? So, other this than this major and minor, then you will have one multidisciplinary course. Okay. Now, when you, when any students want to explore, uh, look into possibilities of what is the degree uh, program that he wants to uh, hmm. pursue at the end of a uh, four year. Say, for example, he wants to have a, a graduation degree in history or a political science. Hmm. 
So based on that relevance discipline, he will choose his minor subject as mm. well. Now the next subject that you have is about the multidisciplinary. Mm. See, for example, there is one student of a science and he's exploring the broad disciplines of a pure science, that is botany, zoology, chemistry, or uh, say, for example, microbiology under major minor in okay. the first year. But however, he has an uh, uh, interest to explore the other discipline as well and see if he has got an interest in the other discipline as well. Mm -hmm. And he may not like the, the courses which are there in, the, uh, in his first major minor in the first semester mm -hmm. or second semester. Here he will have the opportunity to explore through the multidisciplinary. Okay. So in the multidisciplinary, uh, so usually what the NEP structure says is that this NEP, uh, this multidisciplinary course has to be the subject hmm. which the student has not explored during his 12th standard. Oh. And this has to be from the different disciplines. from The broad discipline. Other than what he has selected yeah. from major minor. So okay. if his major and minor he has selected from science, then mandatorily he has to select this multidisciplinary course from the other four disciplines, like commerce, commerce or, or humanities, arts, arts or humanities, okay. or mathematics, or a library okay. science, or journalism, yeah. like that. So NEP also speaks about multiple entry and exit. So could you elaborate on that aspect? Okay. So from now uh, under the NEP, uh, it proposes for a four-year undergraduate programs. So once the student takes the admission for any circumstances, maybe financial or any other for a, for a job perspective, if the students wants to leave after one year completion, mm. he will get the UG certificate. Now, to qualify for the UG certificate after that one year, so in this structure right now, uh, for for four years UG under uh, undergraduate program, any students to pursue that four year undergraduate uh, program, he has to complete the 160 credits. Okay. Out of that, in major subjects, he has to complete 80 credits. Mm. And these credits are equally distributed across the semester. So 20 credits for each semester. So if the student want to exit after one year, so he must have completed 20 credits, but then he has to go through the additional four credits for a vocational training. Okay. Just to qualify to go and pursue for any Which job. Which is like an internship. Internship. Yeah. So that he has to uh, go for a four, uh, four credits internships and then he will get a UG certificate. Okay. If the similarly student wants to exit after second year of his uh, graduation, mm. then he mm. will get a diploma certificate. Now, for the diploma certificate also, to qualify for it, he has to go to the additional mm. four credits. So, Internship. again, it becomes, so first 20 that you have, then again, the second year 20 plus additional four he has to go through that for the internship. Then he will qualify for that. If the student wants to exit after third year, he will get undergraduate program in that discipline, whether mm. it is arts, commerce mm. or science. Mm. However, the student chooses to continue and then get the graduation in four-year undergraduate programs. So he has a choice. Either mm. he can go with the honors mm -hmm. or he can go by research. So what is this research uh, degree that... Uh... So if the student chooses, uh, say for example, while studying by the third-year undergraduate program, mm. student feels that he wants to pursue his education in the research. He is mm. more interested towards the research. Mm. In the fourth year, he can choose his graduation under research. Okay. So in that, he is going to complete 12 credits in a mm. research mm. papers. Whereas the student who chooses not to go with the research mm. and if he wants to get his graduation after four years mm. with the honors, he will take mm. those 12 credits under any papers. He will mm. study those papers same as that of his major discipline. Mm. So uh, it is said that this is a very multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary kind of a structure. Right. So, is there a possibility of changing discipline uh, somewhere in the uh, structure? Right. So, as I mentioned that the first year student will have exploration within that major minor in the same broad same discipline. discipline. Yeah. However, if the student chooses, let's say for example, he has an interest to do it in the any other subjects mm. from the other broad discipline. Now, that student can take a choice in the third semester. Hmm. So, now there are different... So, there is a lot of scope for making changes in transition for a student. There is right. a lot of choice. Uh, so, sir, now when are the admissions going to start for this academic year and what are what is the process? What exactly they have to select okay. in this so, process? Uh, for all the programs uh, <clears throat> which are offered under the Director of Higher Education, uh, aided as well as the self-finance, uh, the admission online admission will begin from 29th of May, uh, okay. from Monday onwards. So all the students who wish to take their admission under uh, in a UG programs, uh, which are offered under in the various colleges, uh, which are administered under a director of higher educations, 
can apply through this online application. Now only online applications are accepted, no mm. offline applications are uh, accepted. Can uh, visit the Director of Higher Education website and fill up the registration process and then continue for, for su uh, submitting the application for admission process. Now while doing so, uh, we request uh, all the students as well before you start with the admission process, before we start with the registration, please refer the college, respective college uh, web portal as well. So that you will get an idea that what are the different majors and minors that will be offered cool. in that respective colleges. And also the other subjects as well, like for example, the multidisciplinary or the various subjects in first semester as well as second semester. And then in you can start with the, with the admission, uh, filling up the admission process. Now, while applying this particular process, if you select, say, for example, a program that you want to do it in the Bachelor of Arts. Now, when you select this particular program, you will see the various colleges where this Bachelor of Arts, uh, the degree programs will be offered. So you can select the programs, then you select the particular college and later on you will get an option to select your major, minor and multidisciplinary subjects. So you can select those particular major, minor and multidisciplinary. However, the subjects will be allotted based on the merit and availability of the seats in the respective colleges. So, other than major, minor, and multidisciplinary, what are the other subjects that they will be learning in the first year? So, apart from these three <coughs> subjects, so then you have uh, ability enhancement courses. Now, okay. this ability enhancement courses is more going to be about the spoken English, okay. about the communication skills, so that English subjects the students will be offered. Under the SEC, uh, now, this, this SEC is a skill announcement uh, yeah. course. Now, this skill announcement course can be related to the student major or a minor subject that he has uh, selected mm. just to give an additional hands-on skills or the practical components with related to these subjects. Or apart from him, let's say, for example, there is a science student. Mm. He has taken his major uh, as a chemistry and minor is a botany. Mm. However, he wants to learn about the taxation or about the banking mm. or say, for example, the, any other commerce field. Mm he can take these subjects under a SEC as well. And he can learn From about any other discipline. As well. Hmm. So this SEC, the student has an option to choose the uh, SEC uh, papers either from the same disciplines or from the outside disciplines. Okay. Then the next paper you will have is a value education, uh, hmm. value added courses. Value added courses. Now in this, there are four uh, categories. One is the digital India, the understanding India, environmental science, and um, the sports, health and wellness. Hmm. Now, the student has to complete two papers from VAC in semester one and two papers uh, mm. in the next semester. So, total he has to complete a four two papers. Two credits uh, of which? Two credits of which. Yeah. So, he has to complete eight credits in the first uh, okay. two semester. Okay. Thank you so much for that information, sir. And I'm sure the students and the parents have uh, got the right information and all the inputs that they require to prepare themselves to uh, go into this new structure of NEP 2020. Thank you once again. And Thank you. Thank you all.